Remember when you first got saved and you knew everything about the Bible? You could explain the Trinity perfectly. You understood what sound doctrine was. You understood the difference between election and predestination. You knew all the different theological systems. Remember how you understood every word of the Bible, right? Wrong. Jesus gives a warning about causing little ones to stumble, little ones who believe in him to stumble. And we think that's bad. But what about when, when someone is not a little child, but they're older, but they're still a babe in Christ? What if we cause them to stumble? What we have a tendency to do is that when someone comes to Christ, especially if it's someone that's famous, someone that has some notoriety and they place their faith in Christ and they espouse it, then what we do is we judge them as though they've been doing it for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, however long. We treat them whenever they make a mistake as though they deserve to be scorned and scorned harshly. Children make bad leaders. And unfortunately, sometimes we tend to go and look at these people as though they are leaders. We should expect them to mess up, to make mistakes. Because after all, isn't that what we did? We have a tendency in the Christian community, especially even online and social media, to kill to utterly destroy these people who just placed their faith in Christ. There are those who just came to Christ and they might not get it right. They don't understand much of anything. All they do understand is how fallen they are and that they need a savior who died for them. He's the only one that can save their soul. And so they place their faith in Christ. Well, praise God. But then immediately thereafter, we ridicule them because they don't know everything. Now, is that to say that we should never correct them even publicly for when they say or do the wrong things? No, that's not what I'm saying. We should judge that, but not condemn that. Remember how we were. We have to learn. There's a stage we go through. There are plenty of people out there who deserve scorn, who deserve ridicule, who deserve to be ostracized and warned about, but there's a difference. There's a difference between this person and that person. One is young, one ought to know better. There's a difference between this person who, though he speaks as though he knows a lot, he's still young, young chronologically and young in terms of the faith. There's a difference between him versus someone like this. Those that ought to know better, we treat them as though they ought to know better because God will do the same thing. There's a young lady named Kat Von D who I guess just recently became a Christian. I have no idea who she is all I do know is that she's new in the faith, and already there are those that want to ridicule her. There are those that attack her because she doesn't know much about the faith, or she might be going about it the wrong way, or who knows what her understanding is. I say this, give her an opportunity to grow. We are told in 1 Thessalonians 5.14 that we should admonish the unruly, obviously, but encourage the faint-hearted. Help the weak, that of that these new Christians, these new believers. Be patient with everyone. Be patient with them. Why? Because everyone was patient with you. And even if they weren't, those that weren't, you know what that feels like because you weren't where they thought you ought to be. Because at one year into your faith, you weren't as mature as they are 5, 10, 15 years in their faith. And then the truth be told, how mature are they if you are attacking some baby in Christ? Does that mean that when someone young in Christ says something that is heretical or off, that we should not correct it, that we should not call out? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. You should call out. But remember, it's how you do so. It's the idea behind what you're doing. It's the motive of what you're, what you're trying to do. And if you are saying, let's throw this person away, calling this person of the devil, this person is evil, this person is wicked, this person is going to hell because they just got saved and couldn't understand the difference between grace or works or understood how salvation works or understood the identity of Christ, whereas most of us still can't figure this out properly. I am all for holding the sound doctrine. I'm also for people growing and learning. Paul says grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord. We grow in both his grace and his knowledge. There are times we're going to make mistakes in our actual walk and there are times we're going to make mistakes in our understanding of the word. And we should be, we should be considerate and understanding when those who are still learning this, just like we are, when they mess up because we do too. And so let's remember that we're all part of the same team. That is, if we are on the same team, there are those who are not on the same team. These people. Let's not confuse the wolves who deserve to be exposed with the babes who deserve to be cared for. Amen.